Field in 1929. Bryant Denny Stadium expansion makes it one of the largest in the Southeastern Conference. And now the coin toss, and it's presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Alabama is ready to open this one up as they line up for the opening kick. He really got a hold of that kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. And down he goes to the 39-yard line. They go with the option and pick up the first down. Yeah, and that was a situation where the quarterback knew he could pick up the first down if he kept it himself. That's a good decision. From their own 39-yard line, first down. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. Tackle made around the 43-yard line. Finds his receiver, and that's a first down. That's a tackle. The 42-yard line. A nice-looking play that time. Well, the defense was blitzing here, and again, great recognition by the quarterback to find the hot receiver. First and ten. Ball on the 42-yard line. to about the 41-yard line. Third down, and they need to get it down to the 32. Becoming the 12th man, the crowd is always into it here. Tackle at the 27-yard line. There's very good chemistry between these two. They like to run through all their routes before the game. And I have to say, they look sharp before this one even started. He's tackled at the 20-yard line, and it's caught. Everything about that play was crisp. The route, the throw, the catch, that's fun to see. This is the eighth play of this drive. He's taken down right around the 12-yard line. From the 12-yard line, first down. And they make the stop at the three. Tenth play of the drive. Touchdown. He makes the PAT. A nice 10 play, 75 yard drive, and they come away with a touchdown. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. So our score, 7-0.
This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Alabama's offense really centered around this quarterback, and as he goes, the team seems to go, Kirk. Brad, over the weeks, I've been watching him on film, and one thing I've seen is his ability to make good decisions. I mean, time after time, he just avoids the mistakes, and when you can do that as a quarterback and as a leader of an offense, you're going to move the football down the field. Gets rid of it quickly. Knocked down, incomplete. As a defender, you want to keep your hands up. Maybe you can come away with a pick or at least deflect the ball. From their own 25-yard line, second down, five wide. And he's on the 39-yard line. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Fires it out. Brought down around the 33-yard line. down 10 to go ball on the 33 yard line they go with the run the defense was just all over that play it didn't fool anybody seven-yard line third down third down and they need to get it to the 23 incomplete this guy's got to just feel awful dropping an easy interception in the end zone the best thing that he could do now is go to his teammates and hope that they're able to get him back up and play that next play. He gets it up, and it's long enough, and he nails the long field goal. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Excellent kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Florida State's coaching staff, Kirk, I thought did a nice job getting them ready to play in this place. Yeah, and you and I have seen this sometimes when we travel. It's, it's where you see the crowd noise uh, throughout the practice week and how much that prepares them. I think the fact they did that to get ready has allowed them to go out there and execute and not be intimidated at all by this crowd. Florida State is up four. And he's taken down at the 25. So he decides to hold on to it, and that's going nowhere. Yeah, it was a short game, but a nice tackle there by the junior who stepped up in traffic and made a nice play. It's second and ten. Ball in the 25. <laughs> Zips it to the back. And down he goes, around the 26-yard line. That play was going nowhere. Yeah, give a lot of credit to the defense here, recognizing pass and swarming to the receiver. Listen to this place. I love the toughness here by this quarterback. He's sitting in until the last second, trying to make a play downfield, only to have this defense get to him. He's got to do a better job maybe feeling things out a little bit, but at least he has the awareness and a toughness to sit in that pocket. He's taken down at the 41-yard line. 
You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. Gives it up the gut. Nice run there as they work the outside. An exciting first quarter comes to an end. 7-3, FSU. And we're back for more action here in quarter number two. Four down, four down. Mike 22, he's coming, 22 is coming. Mike, Mike. Fires quickly, and he's got his man. Tackle made at the 43-yard line. From the 43-yard line, it's first down. He gains a couple of yards on the carry. by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 33. Throws it in a hurry. He gets hit out of bounds at about the 21. Nice throw to hit the out route against man coverage for a first down. Second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. He's scrambling. And they got him. So we talked all week with these coaches, and even when we met with them yesterday out in practice, they told us there were some big concerns about facing these defensive ends. They thought that they might be able to hold up against him, maybe get the ball out of the pocket a little bit quicker, maybe use running backs and tight ends to help with double teams on the outside. But right now, whatever they thought they might be able to do, they better get back to that drawing board because these defensive ends are just too quick. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Steps up and he's sacked for a loss. Boy, Brad, that was a big hit on the quarterback. It'll be interesting to see how he responds from this hit and whether or not he comes after his offensive lineman and challenges them to start playing a little bit better. It's fourth down. It looks like they're going to try for the long field goal. It's up, and he got it. That one looked like cake for this kid. Chalk up three points for the offense. 7-6, FSU. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. And he got all of this one. Great kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Florida State is up one. And he is drilled at the 30. That brings him second and five. We've got a second and five. Ball on the 30 yard line. They'll bring him down for a loss on the. They can't hear a thing down there. They'll make the sack. 
pressure was just too much to handle that time as this defensive end was able to sack the quarterback. They came with a blitz, and this time it worked out. The quarterback had no open receivers, and he just went down. After the sack, it's now fourth and long. Oh, he got nailed on that one. Everywhere we go in college football, everybody's got a T-shirt that says finish, finish, whether that means finish the game or finish the drive. Right now, this offense is moving the ball, but they're not finishing the drive. They've got to execute better down closer to their opponent's territory. They go to the ground game. Runs outside for a nice game. From the 44-yard line, it's second down. And he throws it away. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. Caught, and this is going to be a first down. And he hits him hard at the 27. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 27. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Big play there, and now they're looking at first and goal. This isn't even the best example, but I'm going to tell you something. This young man is really getting better at running his routes, which is a truly underrated quality these days. And he carries the ball for a nice game. Alabama will have one timeout remaining. They're at the three. Second down. Go four. Kill, kill, kill. Touchdown, Alabama. converts the extra point. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Tackle around the 36 yard line. Number 24 with the tackle at the 36 yard line. That makes it first and 10. We've got a first and 10. Ball on their own 36. Now he tries to buy some time. And he's tackled in the open field. He scrambled, but he didn't get much. Brad, this defense reacts too quickly for a scramble like that to work. He needs to spread him out a little bit more to try to create more room to run. From their own 38-yard line, third down. These fans are showing you why teams hate to come here, folks. Dumps it complete over the middle. Alabama's out of timeout. Pickup of about seven that time on the screenplay. He 
He fields it at the 17. He's tackled at the 21-yard line. Alabama's offense is just clicking on all cylinders, Herbie, right now. It's everything they planned for, and it's all working. Everything is coming together for this offense. They seem to be getting better with each series. And, you know, this game started where this team was, you know, they wondered if they were going to be able to move the ball against this defense. And I think right now, I think they seem to, as I said earlier, they seem to be growing with their confidence with each possession. He's taken down at the 24-yard line. That's a gain of three on the play. That'll make it second and seven. It's second and seven. Ball on the 24-yard line. Alabama is up by six. He's tackled around the 35-yard line. Maybe after a nice run like that, you try to go up in the air for the play-action pass. And the safety with the interception. And they make the stop at about the 45. We've played a half. Alabama leads it 13-7. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 half Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. Defense has been dominant in this game. Yards very hard to come by. But David, as we get deeper and deeper into this game, the natural assumption is that the pressure goes to the offense to do something. Yeah. How much pressure is on the defense not to make that catastrophic mistake? Well, that, that's, the, that's the conundrum you get in. I mean, it makes it exceptionally tough because you want to play perfect and you want to get up to punt every single time, but it's not the way it works. And it's those big plays that you usually see that kill the defenses and break their backs. And you can hold them great, Reese, on first down, second down, it's third and long. You're in a perfect situation. You give up that one play for 80, and it changes the whole complexion of the game. So I think you got to have a little bit of both. It can't just be great defense the whole time. Usually the teams that play great defense can keep you in it, but only for so long. At some point, that offense has to get something going. We've done what we can do here at halftime. Time to get you back out to the second half. We'll keep an eye on everything going on in college football. Brad Nessler and Kirk Herbstreet ready with a call. Boy, I hope the second half's as good as the first. Just about set to start the third quarter in a tight one. He really got a hold of that kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. It's going to be interesting to see how the action shakes out in this series. Alabama up six. And he's tackled at the 28. Gain of three on the play. That'll make it second and seven. From their own 28-yard line. Second down. Here's a draw. He fights forward to about the 29. Yard line. First down. Zipped it out, and that was almost picked off. Well, the offense catches a break here. That ball should have been intercepted there by the safety, so the quarterback gets the ball back here for this next down. Here we go, here we go, here we go. He's got it with room to run. They'll bring him down at the 45-yard line. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 45. Brought 
down around the 31 yard line. Alabama with a six point lead. He's pushed out of bounds at the 30 yard line. Here's the eighth play of the series. And he makes it out to about the 27-yard line. Call it a gain of three yards. Third down. Third down, and they need to get it to the 21. Four down, four down. Back 22, back 22. Green nine, green nine. Is that green nine? And he's taken down around the 23-yard line. He made the catch, but he didn't get the first down. Yeah, right now, the way this defense is swarming, there's just no room for him to get upfield for the first down. The kick is up, and it sails through the uprights. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Alabama's continuing to play extremely tough defense. This has been impressive. It's just been impressive to watch them play with such an attitude, almost a chip on their shoulder with the energy that they're playing with. And I think it's going to require that kind of effort to be able to win this game. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. And down he goes, right around the 36-yard line. First down. From their own 36-yard line. First down. Off the right side. Doesn't get much. Good tackle. That makes it second and ten. Strike to the receiver. Tackle made around the 47-yard line. That's good for a gain of 11 yards. First, down. First and 10. Ball on their own 47. Going right to his tailback. Brought down in the open field. out to about the 37 yard line. Game of 16 yards. That makes it first and 10. From the 37 yard line, it's first down. He makes it out to maybe the 36 yard line. Just smash mouth, helmet to chin football by the defensive line there. They dominated the point of attack. Third down, and they need to get it to the 27. Once and all, going deep. Almost picked off. Nice job getting a hand on that one. Yeah, really good heads up play there to get a hand on the football by the defense. And they can make this a one-possession game with this kick right here. Kicks away. And it's good! You know, I was wondering if he's going to get a chance to kick one of those. We saw him warming up from 60 yards before the game. 16-10, Alabama. They line up to kick this one away. Excellent kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. 
The quarterback leads the offense back out onto the field as we get set to resume play. Alabama is up by six. He's to the 40. He's at midfield. Inside the 30. To the 10. Touchdown. Big play. I can guarantee you'll be seeing that one in the highlight reels. What a great, great run. A real display of all the tools that he brings to the table. And he adds the extra point. like he's ready to kick this one off. He just drills this one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Scrambling around. He's tackled in the open field. That makes it second and eight. From their own 27-yard line, it's second down. Has some daylight. Gets out to around the 35. That's three down and one to go. Alabama's got a 13-point lead. Just about set to start action here again in the fourth quarter. They're one of the loudest crowds in the country, and they are on their feet. Got a man. Watch out here. Tackle at the 42. That's a gain of seven. First down. From their own 42-yard line. First down. Makes it out to about the 43. First down. Just throws this one away. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. It's second and ten. Ball on the 43-yard line. Makes it out to maybe the 40-yard line. That makes it third and seven. Really a tough spot for an offense to be in against this crowd in this stadium. And he carries the ball for a nice game. So it's fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. They come out in a five-wide set. He makes it out to maybe the 33-yard line. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. Tackled after a decent pickup. That's a team of six on the play. That'll make it second and four. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Three down, three down. Watch nine, watch nine. Dog, four, three, nine. Three, nine. Hey, kill, kill, kill. Zips it to the tight end. He's taken down around the 42-yard line. That'll make it third and one. Double tight, guys, double tight. Four down, four down. Mike 22, he's coming, 22's coming. Mike, Mike. Here we go, here we go. Easy, easy. Flair, Flair.
He's tackled at the 47 yard line. From the 47 yard line, first down. A little more than two minutes to go in the fourth quarter. Tackled for a loss. The defense just met the blockers head on and drove them back straight into the runner. Florida State's going to use their first time out of the half here. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. The Seminoles are going to call their second time out. We have two minutes left to play in this game. Got it. Complete. He's out of bounds. From the 28-yard line, it's first down. And he stopped behind the line. Really good play here and run support by the linebacker. The big guys up front took away the running lanes, and he was able to get through for a loss. He tackles him for a loss. That is a loss of three yards. They've looked good so far on third down in this drive. Let's see what happens here. Mike 22, he's coming. 22 is coming. Mike, Mike. Go. Green nine, green nine. Get it. Watch the motion. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. Less than two minutes in the fourth quarter. Kicks up, and he just drilled it from long range. Alabama's got one of the best quarterbacks in the business, and he played like one on that last drive. Well, that drive was huge. He set up that game-winning field goal. The quarterback at times just looked so relaxed back there, like he was just playing a video game, just making good decisions and moving the ball right down the field for that game-winning kick. He sends this one deep. Alabama to kick this one off. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. They're ready to begin another drive. Watch a slap, watch a slap. Watch a slap. Hey, check by 33, check by 33. And a quick throw. And they make the stop at the 35-yard line. First down. Throws it deep. He's hit and taken down. That makes it first and ten. Motion, motion. Throws complete and he's hit right away. And he stops the clock with a spike. That makes it third and three. They need about three yards to get the first down here on third down. Listen to this place. And he throws it away. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. Zips it to his receiver. Touchdown. And a nice 
catch by the receiver for the touchdown. Anytime you're near the red zone, you got to keep an eye for this guy. They love going to him down here. You talk about a clutch play. They couldn't afford any mistakes on fourth down there. So the offense will stay on the field and attempt the two-point conversion. We have less than a minute to go. They don't get it. It was a six-play, 75-yard drive. But the failed two-point conversion keeps it a six-point score. Brad, I love these kind of drives. They're old school, grind it out and earn the yards and just rip the heart right out of that defense. So the score now, 26-16. He got hit hard. The defense was able to keep him out of the end zone on their last possession, but the offense did pick up three. And this should be a kneel down as they just try to kill the clock. He'll go down to one knee. It's second down, 12 to go. Ball on the 45-yard line. Favorite play in football of your quarterback. Take a knee. And so that's going to do it. Our final score in this one, 26-16, Crimson Tide. That's going to do it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Curve Street, this is Brad Nessler saying goodbye.